Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Three. We are learning Unit Ten. Its title is Safety on the Road. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children, today under the title of reading, we, we are going to start reading and understanding the text of this unit. Before this, in your unit five, I have already taught you how to describe events in a picture or illustration. I hope you remember because we are going to learn further to describe events in a picture or illustration use pre-reading strategies to predict some words that might occur in a text by looking at picture and title these are our today's SLOs let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah mentions in Quran surah An-Nisa verse 59 O you who have believed obey Allah and obey the messenger sallallahu alaihi wa sallam and those in authority among you and if you disagree over anything refer it to allah and the messenger sallallahu alaihi wa sallam if you should believe in allah and the last day that is the best way and best in result yes my dear students what this beautiful verse is telling us so, beta Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us to obey Allah and our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and who after him? Those in authority among you. This is important for us to know. Authority means like your children, the elder who is around you, your parents, your teacher, your elder siblings, grandfather, grandmother, whoever elder is around you, you should obey them one thing secondly beta as a citizen our government is the authority we should follow them we should obey them whatever rules whatever laws our government make it is our responsibility to obey it this is command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah is saying you are supposed to obey the one who are in authority among you right so beta we should follow we should obey the laws and rules and regulations of government right and whenever we do it we are in fact obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right so inshallah in this uh, lecture in this uh, lesson we will learn about it so first you look at the given pictures and guess what the text is about so look at these pictures and the title of this unit is safety on the road so look at the pictures and guess what text might come in this uh, unit okay so pause the video answer this question to your teacher and then come back yes my dear children i hope you have answered like um, what comes when we talk safety on the road traffic signals the lights red light yellow light green light zebra crossing follow your lane and uh, be careful while crossing the road etc etc so such type of words will come in this text this is what we guess now let's see what this text is all of you open your book from the very first sentence i'm going to read and after me you have to read it okay last sunday bina's mother planned to go to the grocery market to buy food Bina wanted to go with her mother to get sweets since she had completed her homework her mother agreed the grocery market was near their home so her mother decided to go on foot both Bina and her mother walked to the 
main road. The market was across the road. There was heavy traffic on the road. Mother held Bina's hand and they reached the main crossing. The traffic warden, who is traffic warden? An officer who manages, regulates the movement of vehicles on the road. He is uh, an officer of traffic police, traffic warden, was standing in the middle of the crossing. He was controlling the traffic. The traffic lights were changing colors. What do the changing colors of the traffic lights mean? Mama, Bina asked her mother. All three colors have different meanings. The red color means to stop. It means when at the sig signal you see, at the crossing you see the signal is showing red color. What does it mean? You should stop there. Yellow means get ready and green means go. Her mother replied. Then they came to a zebra crossing. Mother said, these white lines are for pedestrians. And who are pedestrians? Who are walking on foot. When you are uh, walking on road, it means you are pedestrian. And if you want to cr cross the road, you should go to zebra crossing. People cross the road on these lines. It is a safe area. Vehicles stop behind these lines. They have to stop when the red light is on. Bina recalled an accident she had seen last month when a car did not stop even though the red light was on, she realized the importance of following the traffic rules. So that's it here. I'm stopping my reading. Now it's your turn. Pause the video. Enjoying, enjoy reading the text again and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Very good. Now it's our activity time. And this activity is really interesting. Look at the pictures and describe what is happening in picture. Pictures and illustrations are attached below. I'm going to show it to you. Teacher will help and guide students for describing pictures and illustration correctly and properly. So teachers, they, I brought uh, an example. If you can take it or you can show a uh, uh, picture illustration of your own. So tell them how by looking at the pictures we can make a story and how do we uh, explain these pictures. Okay, so it is a story very interesting. Who can guess it and how do you predict what is this story is all about by looking at these pictures. This is your task. So pause the video, enjoy this activity and then come back. Yes, my dear children, I hope you could guess it correctly. There are two friends, they are going through a jungle and on the way they met a bear. One of them fell on the ground and the other is running. The one who is running was uh, able to, he was successful to climb a tree. But the one who fell down, lie down and held his breath as if he is dead. The bear sniffed him and went away so the friend became angry with the one who ran away he said oh you you left me there and you ran yourself so i don't want to be your friend anymore so this is how the story ends so the moral of the story is a friend in need is a friend indeed so my dear children the purpose of bringing this picture these pictures to you is this is how by looking at the picture we illustrate them we discuss about them and we can make a story okay 
All right, so it's time for your classwork. These are the questions from the text we just read. First, you will tell the answers to your teacher orally, and then you will write the answers in your notebook. So pause the video, complete this task in your notebooks, and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. It's time for your homework. This is a project given in your book. Do you think traffic signs are important for us? Draw any traffic signs which ask the vehicle drivers to slow down because there is a school ahead. So this is the task for you. You're going to make it. And uh, this is also your homework. When you go home from school, observe if anyone breaks the traffic rules or not. And if it uh, if anyone breaks the traffic rules, what happens? So you, it is your task to observe. So uh, this is a, a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. And once again, my dear children, this is a story. By looking at the pictures, first you will make a story by your own, and then you can read this text which is given by the sides of picture. So this is how you will complete this worksheet. So what we have learned, we learned how to describe events in a picture or illustration and we also learned to predict some words that might occur in the text by looking at the pictures. So we achieved our SLO. Describe events in a picture or illustration. Use pre-reading strategies to predict some words that might occur in a text by looking at pictures or title. Are we done with it? Yes, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again and we'll continue reading and understanding of this unit till the time. Keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.